Hey, what's up guys, Aaron here, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to prepare your iPhone or your iPad for iOS 8. Apple announced at WWDC in June that they will be releasing iOS 8 very soon. So now is as good as time as any to prepare your iOS device for iOS 8. Now there are a few steps that you can take to help ensure that your transition from iOS 7 to iOS 8 is as smooth as possible. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first number one is check compatibility. Now if your smartphone is an iPhone 4 and your main tablet is the original iPad, then I would say that it's time to upgrade. And as it stands now, those two devices are the only devices that are not going to be available to get iOS 8. So here's a quick heads up on what devices are going to be compatible with iOS 8. The iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5S, and the iPhone 5C. The second, third, and fourth generation iPad along with the iPad Air. The fifth generation iPod Touch the iPad mini, and the iPad mini with retina display. Next number two is free up some space. The over-the-air iOS 7 update package was around 700 megabytes, depending on your device. However, all users were required to have at least three gigabytes available. So we can expect to see iOS 8 have similar storage requirements. Now a quick and easy way to free up some storage on your device is by deleting old applications that you no longer use, moving some photos to iCloud, and if you don't use iCloud, then moving videos or photos over to your computer. Now after you've freed up as much storage as you can, go ahead and check on how much storage you have left. And to do this, all you need to do is go to settings, click on general, and select usage. Next number three is check for updates. So now would be a great time to install any updates that you've been holding off on updating. You need to be on Apple's latest version of iOS to update to iOS 8. Now to check for an update, all you need to do is go to settings, general, and software update. And also make sure that you update any applications that need to be updated as well. Next number four is back up your device. Now while you're more than likely not going to run across any type of problems when it comes to updating your device, it's always a good idea to make sure that you have your device backed up. Now your data can both be backed up to your computer as well as iCloud. And lastly, number five is be aware of stabilization issues in the older devices. Now I've definitely seen some older devices that have been updated to some newer OS's that have seen some major stabilization issues. So I would highly recommend anyone using an iPhone 4S or an iPad 2 to hold off on updating to iOS 8 for a week or two after the update is released to make sure everything is fully stable. Anyways guys, it's gonna do it for me on this one. This has been a quick video going over five ways to prepare your iPhone or iPad for iOS 8. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron and I'll see you guys on the next one.